Well, we set off from Cape Town and we've arrived here in this beautiful area known as the Waneti Concession. This area is situated in the far eastern corner of Kruger National Park. As I worked here for a number of years, I got to know these lions that frequented this area very well. And we've come back here to find one particular pride, which we've heard have two white lion cubs. White lions are critically endangered. There are only 13 in the wild, in their natural habitat. And two of them are right here. There are no documented records of them ever having existed prior to our times. They very possibly existed in Ice Age times thousands of years ago. It was September. It is cold at that time. So it was a little bit misty early in the morning. So we saw, actually, it was one lioness, three cubs. And then, oh. And when the first guide called him in, he said, I've got a white lion that's snow white quite no respond. The guide sort of doubted him and then two or three more guides arrived and they said, yes, 100%, it's a white lion and everybody was uh, ecstatic about that. I was so excited, yes. Clement, this guide found one of the white lion and I was so excited. This is an opportunity to find these animals and in doing so, possibly be the first to document these animals in this area for decades. One of the key assets when filming in the bush is knowing animal behavior. If you know how the animal is going to react in a sighting, then you can predict how to film that animal. And that is really, really key when out here, especially with white lions such as these. Finding these animals in this massive wilderness concession can be a difficult challenge, especially with the terrain, the Lobombo Mountains. So you really need a lot of expertise and experience to be able to find these animals. And with a bit of luck and a bit of perseverance, we'll do just that. These areas, particularly because of those large open expanse areas, having large volumes of game and having very good water all year round, uh, do mean that the predator number is always going to be very good. But because of the fact that they move in and out of the concession, it's never a guarantee that they're going to be there. Approximately one and a half to two thousand lions in the Greater Kruger Park region. There's only about eight or nine known individual that is alive at the moment, including the two from this prime. This area is very difficult to track lion because it's very mountainous, lots of rocks and the soil after rain is very hard, like a cement, so it's not easy to spot the footprint of a lion. Andrew indicated that the tracks are extremely fresh. What we're gonna do is, this is over 40 lions, according to the tracks. We're gonna have to follow them on foot as they are heading into the Lebombo Mountains. We suspect them to be very, very close. So we're gonna leave you in the vehicle, we'll be back in a few minutes. We're gonna have to trail them on foot. The rule of trekking is that wherever you walk, you must see like 50 meters ahead of you. We found them. Andrew led, we tracked them and uh, we managed to find them on a rocky outcrop within the mountains there. Not too far from here, uh, whether the white ones are there, uh, well, I can't confirm, but there is definitely quite a number of lines and it seems to be the pride that we're looking for. We're moving in now with the vehicle. Chris is uh, guiding us in and we're seeing if we can possibly locate these lines in the vehicle so we can view them from a slightly closer proximity. It's really exciting. We're in the heart of the Lobombo Mountains here, and in the distance, I can pick up even from about 100 meters away a little white lion cub sunning itself on the rock face.
This is such a privilege. We finally managed to find uh, this big pride of lions, uh, which contains two of the white lions that we've been looking for. One tiny little cub and an older male. It's been a lot of work trying to find these guys, but with our, our guide and tracker and working together as a team, it's, we've managed to pull it off. Um, like I say, just such a privilege to be able to witness these animals in their natural environment. It reminds me again, when I see something like this, how incredible it is seeing an animal for the first time. To actually see this white lion pop out of nowhere, pretty spectacular. I'll remember it for a long time. Because these white lions that have occurred here within Singita's concession, it's a protected area, there's no hunting. They're also within this incredible super pride, huge pride numbering nearly 40. That means huge advantages in terms of the potential survival of the cubs. It's critically important that we protect these animals not only from a conservation point of view, they're an important part of the biodiversity of the Kruger to Canyon's biosphere. I mean that should be enough reason to protect these rare animals. I mean just how awesome would it be a huge fully grown white lion male in this region, I mean, I think that is, that is a dream, but I think it's, it's going to happen.